With that, we'll go to Ms. Ocasio-Cortez for five minutes. Thank you so much, Madam Chairwoman. Um, Mr. Tnev, Robin Hood has engaged in a track record of outages, design failures, and most recently what appears to be a failure to properly account for your own internal risk. You've previously tried to blame clearinghouses for your need um, and scramble to raise some $3.4 billion in a matter of days, but you've also you know, blamed a lack of industry-wide real-time settlement or rather a lack of that uh, settlement of trades. Um, you know, but Robinhood's requirements for margin have long been far more lax than other brokers for a long time. With, you know, in December, just a couple months ago, you bragged about having some of the most competitive rates in the industry. And this is evidenced by your recent decision to raise those requirements. Uh, when Robinhood prohibited its customers from purchasing additional shares of several stocks, other brokerage, brokerages merely adjusted the margin requirements on these stocks. Uh, so, Mr. Tenev, given Robinhood's track record, isn't it possible that the issue is not clearing houses, but the fact that you simply didn't manage your own book or failed to appropriately manage your own margin rules or failed to manage your own internal risks? Thank you for this question, Congresswoman. Uh, let me address the margin point because I think this is an important one that has been um, under discussed. So in December, when we lowered our margin rates to 2.5%, one of the details that I think was missed is that most other brokerages have tiered margin rates where the wealthier customers pay much lower margin rates than lower net worth customers. So you'll have someone that has $10,000 paying 9 to 10% for margin whereas someone with a million dollars pays 2%. So our approach was give everyone a uniform rate so that wealthier customers are not advantaged uh, with lower rates than, than lower income customers. And I think that's a unique approach in our industry and is representative. Thank you, I, ha I have to apologize. I have to reclaim my time for questioning. Um, you know, as many of my colleagues have also pointed out, Robinhood generates much of its revenue from the payment for order flow arrangements with market makers like Citadel, um, as well as Two Sigma and Virtue. And in 2016, the SEC highlighted ways that the payment for order flow created a quote, potential conflict of interest with a broker's duty of best execution. And then one of the ideas that the commission floated in 2016 for addressing these conflicts of interest was to require that brokers pass on the proceeds of a payment for order flow. Now, um, earlier, one of my colleagues, uh, San, uh, Representative San Nicolas, said that uh, Robinhood owes its customers a lot more than an apology. And I happen to agree with him. I believe that the decisions made by you and this company have harmed your, your customers. Um, Mr. Tenev, would you be willing to commit today to voluntarily pass on the proceeds of the payment for order flow to Robinhood customers? Congresswoman, I, I appreciate that question. When, uh, when the statement you refer to was made, uh, I believe 2015 or 2016, it was before Robinhood forced the entire industry to drop commissions and replicate our business model, which made payment So is that a... I should take that as a no. You're not willing to pass on the proceeds of payment for order flow to your customers? When when uh, the other brokers dropped- no, I'm just talking about today, right now. Payment for order flow, Congresswoman, allows for commission-free trading. In the mm -hmm. context of trading commissions, um, it's a much larger source of revenue in the past than payment- Mr. Tenef, I, I apologize, and it's- I. I don't want to be rude. I just have limited time. Um, but if removing the revenues that you make from a payment for order flow uh, would cause the removal of free commissions, doesn't that mean that trading on Robinhood isn't actually free to begin with? Because you're just hiding the cost, the cost in terms of potentially poor execution or the cost of lost rebates to your customers. So certainly, Congresswoman, Robinhood is a for-profit business and needs to generate some revenue to, to, to pay for the costs of running this business. People were initially skeptical that the model, even with payment for order flow, would work when you remove commissions. And I think we've proven that otherwise by making this the standard model by which 
brokerages operate now. I see. Okay, Mr. Tennant, I have to I have to move on very quickly. I have a, a timeline question here uh, for Mr. Plotkin. I see that um, you know it, earlier your testimony today was that hello. Earlier, I, I um, you your testimony doing? today was that uh, Melvin Capital had not engaged in. Um, oh, I see a bit of noise. Oh, now. sorry, M Madam Chairwoman. I'm sorry. I think I think you're not muted. <laughs> sorry about that, uh, Mr. Plotkin. Earlier today, you know, you mentioned that Melvin Capital had not engaged um, in a naked short of GameStop, and Melvin closed out its position on GME on the 20th. Correct. I'm sorry. The gentle lady's time has expired.